you can only imagine working full time, being in class, doing clinicals, taking tests, writing papers, like it was just, it was just too much. hi you guys welcome back to my channel i'm talking about welcome back i've been gone for a very very long time there has just been so many excuses and things that come up that i have used to not pick up the camera again and to film but i'm so glad to be back if you don't know me my name is Sade. i just graduated nursing school cue the cheers i'm really happy and really excited about that i definitely want to kind of revamp my channel into being nursing content, weeks in my life vlogs, beauty, self-care, all of those things. So if that interests you, go ahead and hit subscribe. This year, 2023, is definitely going to be all about consistency, all about um, authenticity, letting you guys in a little bit more, showing you, um, you know, just how my life is as a new grad nurse. Let's start with the reason why I had to stop filming. Life just got extremely overwhelming. My grades started to slip a little bit because I was just juggling way too much. Um, if you don't know, I was a full-time employee all throughout nursing school and I also had like a couple side hustles on the side. But I was just kind of just overwhelmed and I had to sacrifice some things in my life in order to get through nursing school and YouTube unfortunately had to be that. Um, when I did stop filming videos, I did have a moment of depression, honestly, because I had put so much into my channel. I had, I was so consistent. I loved it. Um, I was so creative. Like I felt like I was really in my purpose. And then when it stopped, I just felt like I'm kind of losing my momentum with the algorithm just growing and I felt like I would have to start all the way back at ground zero. It was just really discouraging, honestly. Um, not only was quitting YouTube discouraging, but also, you know, barely passing block three was extremely scary. And it was all because I didn't really know how to study for real. And I'll do more videos in how to properly study for nursing school. And if you want like a little spoiler alert, it's literally questions in you world but we'll get into that in another video last year was just so hard i also was doing uh, my bachelor's classes through a university and i was typing papers back to back to back to back to back so you can only imagine working full time being in class doing clinicals taking tests writing papers like it was just it was just too much block four <laughs> Block four is not like content heavy. It's really just pulling all of the concepts that you've learned one through three in applying it and doing critical care and pediatrics. I do not like pediatric nursing. Let's just put that out there. I do not like it. I don't understand it and I think that's why I don't like it. It was just a lot to memorize. I felt like that was honestly the hardest part because um, if you're familiar with how nursing school really is, it's there's like, you really don't have time to memorize everything. So once you get a nice little flow, you kind of know how to learn and know how to answer the questions by applying past knowledge. But with pediatrics, it was so different. And I honestly didn't have the time to sit there and memorize every little thing. Who like those, uh, what do you call it? The um, development, what is it called? milestones in development like at six to eight months the, the infant knows how to change uh, an object from one hand to another at two months the child smiles at six months they should be sitting up at 12 months they should be standing like it was too much like you have to know like how many blocks they should be able to build at what at what age and what months and it was it was too much so comment down below if you've done peds before um and it wasn't your thing or it was your thing i had a friend in nursing school who absolutely loved peas and i definitely relied on her a lot 
for the information. The biggest part about block four that was the hardest was juggling everything. When I tell you, I was at the school, it felt like every other day for something, for some three hour simulation, for lab, for clinical. And the clinicals were insane. We went from, I wanna say, okay, maybe 60 hours of clinical time per block. Fourth block was double that. It was double that. We were at clinical, it seemed like every single week from August to December 5th. I was tired. I was worn out. At the very, very end of the block, I wasn't going to the gym anymore. I was eating poorly. Your girl ate McDonald's for the first time in like five years because it was fast, easy, cheap. Not only are, are you working for free for so long in these hospitals, but you have to cut back on other things. So I had to cut back on my actual work hours. That was something to try to figure out, okay, how do I make this PTO stretch for a hundred and some hours? I couldn't. So I had to cut back on work. So that means less money, more work, higher prices of everything, uh, groceries, bills, literally everything okay i don't know about you guys but when my finances ain't right i'm not right <laughs> like i'm just i'm just not right in the head if my finances are not together that was that so i felt i was i was gaining weight i felt terrible because i was putting horrible things in my body barely drinking water barely sleeping stressed out on top of that having to take tests having to be at the school the whole thing together just created a very 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 tired i don't even know if i was high functioning depression it was like i guess it was high functioning because I, I had to get i had to get the stuff done but i was so like on autopilot i wasn't really present in the moment and when i tell you december could not come fast enough it did not come fast enough by the time I made it to December 5th, which was my last clinical, I had my final and I failed my final. Okay, hear me out, hear me out. I know you're like, what? I failed my final. I had already calculated <laughs> how much points I could use because I didn't have the energy to put into studying like crazy. So I just basically did as many UWorld questions as I possibly could and just honestly hoped for the best. Thankfully, I am really good at critical care information. I love med surg. I'm a med surg girly. Thankfully, that's the bulk of your grade. So any other specialty, um, you know, there's some wiggle room there. I literally had to not take the test to not pass, if you get what I'm saying. So I think I got like, a, I think out of 130, I think I maybe, be, maybe got like 90 or 100 right so i think i missed like 30 questions i think um so fail that i think it was like a 74 percent. i'm not sure i just i'm 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 getting all this information based off of memory because my memory is real foggy during that time and i was just so relieved to walk across that stage and then i thought that i was just gonna like be so happy and have all this energy and get back into YouTube and clean and do all the things that I miss and that I love and get back to self care and work out. No, I crashed. My energy crashed, my whole demeanor crashed. Um, I felt stressed out. Mind you, I'm currently still waiting on my authorization to test, to take the NCLEX, so I still have to take time out of my day every day to do questions. I've been doing about 50 questions every day and if I miss a couple of days, I'll do like 75. But that whole process, I'm literally gonna have to do a separate video for that. That whole process, it was terrible. Okay, it was terrible. I also have a job lined up. I also want to make sure that I pass my NCLEX and make sure that I secure my job before saying anything, you know, the whole moving in silence thing. I'll definitely get more into the smaller details of how that year went. The year was a blur. It went fast. It was hard. It hit hard. It went fast. It was tough. Okay. 
the hardest thing I've ever had to do in my life. Currently, zero out of 10 would recommend. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. I haven't, I haven't reaped the rewards quite yet of all my hard work, so it's feeling like, I don't know. But I'm sure, you know, I'll feel different once I start really working and gaining experience and gaining that them coins, okay? Um, because we didn't work this hard to still struggle. So I'm really excited to get back into filming. It took a lot for me to get. I don't know if you guys can hear, but I have been very, very sick for the past four days. Very sick. Sneezing, coughing. The whole nine yards i'm very congested but i was like you know what i refuse to not film this video because it's just another roadblock i eventually need to step over my roadblocks step over myself get over myself get back into things regain my confidence regain my comfortability in front of the camera like it's just time so moving forward, I'm definitely going to kind of mix the channel up a little bit. I'm going to be doing a few nursing school videos or just nursing in general. I definitely want to get into vlogs. Um, I've been loving TikTok. I haven't like started, but I've been following different people. And I definitely want to get back into the beauty, into the self-care aspect of everything, because that's honestly that's all the content that I consume on a day-to-day -day basis and I love that content. So it's just gonna be all things girly. It's gonna be a little bit of everything. I definitely want this to be an outlet for me, for you, and to give you like a full body worth of content, um, just lifestyle overall. If you made it this far in the video, thank you so much. I genuinely appreciate um you if you're returning like i love you thank you for being so patient with me i have been doing y'all so so dirty with these videos i'm so sorry um please forgive me expect content every week i definitely want to do two to two, let me not say two to three two videos a week that's very doable for me but I'm going to get a routine going and I will update you guys on what the routine is going to look like because I'm starting this new job and you know we work 312s and I'm going to be in school also so once I get that schedule solidified I know how to batch my content and kind of work around that if that makes sense so I definitely want to hold out on giving you guys actual days that I'm going to be posting content. Um, just so it can be more accurate thank you thank you thank you um comment down below what else you want to know about my nursing school um experience so i can maybe be more detailed and be more direct in what you really want to hear and then also let me know what you want to see as far as beauty and lifestyle and vlog content i don't know just say hello just say hello i miss talking to you guys um i see comments here and there and i comment on the ones that deserve commenting on Stay tuned for more videos. I love you guys. Sunlight that always stays Dinner by the waterway It's that sweet life Raise your cross Made some dude crack a smile He asked if I could stay a while